Hi, I'm Jimmy Wong, and I'm here with Michael Romano and Josh Bryant here at the Space Weather Research Center. If you remember from last week, Active Region 1520 provided us with an X-class flare and an M-class flare. This active region, however, has rotated behind the sun, but it's still providing with some exciting news. Josh? This morning we had some neat events that occurred. Active Region 1520 is located in this bright area in the Stereo A imagery. And this morning it released a large flare and an associated CME. Using these other chronograph imagery, Stereo A and SOHO, we found the speed to be approximately 3,000 kilometers per second, which is quite fast, and it is directed towards Stereo A. CMEs and flares can accelerate particles to very high levels. As you can see here this morning, Stereo A detected many of these particles. Michael, can you tell us more? Sure, that is correct, Jimmy. Stereo A detected a proton flux that um, had increased by three orders of magnitude. These particles from this solar event were also detected in GOES-13. Um, we can see here the large increase from the solar energetic particle event. Part of our job as summer interns is to analyze these events in real time. Here we have a movie showing the CME's propagation through the solar system using a computer-based research model. This particular CME may impact stereo A at 2300 UT. It's also important to note that the CME may impact the Dawn satellite, the first NASA mission to ever land on an asteroid. Whoa, that's cool. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for the next big solar event. Thanks for watching. All of the data in this video is accessible from our integrated space weather analysis system located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov.